In this video lesson, we will learn how to solve quadratic equations using the quadratic formula. So there are two ways of solving quadratic equations, the factoring method and the quadratic formula. Now the problem with the factoring method is that it doesn't always work. It's not possible to factor every single quadratic equation. And so when you can't factor, you have to use the quadratic formula. So what is the quadratic formula? If you have the quadratic equation ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, where a, b, and c are the coefficients of the x squared, the x, and just the constant term, then x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And I'll write it here in the corner. It's a good idea to have it in the corner of all your homework assignments or to just have it memorized. All you have to do is plug in b, a, and c, and it'll give you the two possible answers. That's why there's a plus and there's a minus. So let's do some examples. For example, x squared minus 4x plus 2 equals 2, 0. So we have to figure out what a, b, and c are. Well, if it's ax squared plus bx plus c, we sort of drop down the corresponding values and, well, a, a just equals to 1, b is negative 4, and c is 2. So now we plug these in. So x would equal to negative, negative 4, plus or minus the square root of negative 4 squared, minus 4 times 1, and then also times 2, and all of this over 2 times 1. And then we simplify, well first of all, negative negative 4 is 4, and then we have plus or minus, just one second, we got to make sure there's enough space. So we get 4 plus or minus, negative 4 squared is 16, 4 times 1 times 2 is 8, and 2 times 1 is 2. So now this simplifies to 4 plus or minus square root of 8 over 2, because 16 minus 8 is 8. And this simplifies further. We have 4 plus or minus the square root of 4 times 2, because 8 is 4 times 2. And what we're doing is we're simplifying the square root, so that we get 4 plus or minus 2 times the square root of 2. So we get once we divide everything by 2, 2 plus or minus root 2. So there are two solutions. These solutions are x equals 2 plus square root of 2, and x equals, or x equals, 2 minus square root of 2. Both of these work. So now we're ready for a second example. In the second example, we'll actually have a quadratic function that can be factored and can be solved using factoring. However, we're going to apply the quadratic formula to it. It's going to give us the same answer, just a lot more computation involved. So we have x squared minus 6x minus 7 equals to 0. So let me rewrite the quadratic equation since I erased it before. Or first, let's take a look at the, what our a, b, and c are. We have 1, negative 6, and negative 7. We just drop them down from the equation above. And here's the formula again. Negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So x equals to negative negative 6 
which is just positive 6. But we'll simplify it later. Plus or minus the square root of negative 6 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 7. And then all over 2 times 1. Because a equals to 1. So we have 2 times 1. This simplifies to positive 6 plus or minus square root of negative 6 squared is 36. And then we have minus 4 times negative 7, so it's plus. Two negatives make a plus. And 4 times 1 times 7 is 28. And this is all over 2. This equals to 6 plus or minus square root of 64 all over 2. The square root of 64 is just 8. So this is 6 plus or minus 8 over 2. Which when we simplify we get 3 plus or minus 4, which is the same as just two different values, which are negative 1 and or, or 7. So we have these two solutions, x equals negative 1 or x equals 7. You can try factoring this equation on your own if you like, and you'll see that you get the same answers. Thank you for watching this video lecture. I hope it helped.